Welcome to Food Fights, and have I got a surprise for you. Today we're going to be trying these two brands of caramel corn. On the left, weighing in at six ounces, is Crunch and Munch Caramel Popcorn with Peanuts. And on the right, weighing in at one times three, three ounces, is Cracker Jack, the original caramel-coated popcorn and peanuts. Who doesn't like popcorn, especially caramel-covered popcorn? I know I do, but I haven't had this in quite a while, and this was one of those things that I would get as a kid, because man, they were so good, and plus, a surprise, and yeah, there's a surprise inside still. I'm surprised already. <laughs> After all of these years, they're still putting a prize inside. So at the end of the video, we're going to see what we get here. This is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm having fun already. This is like going back. I'm not going to tell you how many years, but this is like going back in time and being a kid again. So Crunch and Munch, I think I've had a few times, and Cracker Jack, I'm, I've probably had a million times, but it's been a million years since I've had it. So I'm looking forward to this one. So I bought both of these at Dollar Tree. So obviously, I only paid a dollar for each one of these packages. So for the Crunch and Munch, that works out to 17 cents an ounce for this $1 package. And for the Cracker Jack, that works out to 33 cents cents an ounce for these three packages for a dollar. So obviously the better value certainly is the Crunch and Munch at 17 cents an ounce, but I don't think there's a prize inside of here. So is this prize inside worth that extra money? But actually, since we've got three boxes, we've got three prizes. So you've got some catching up to do Crunch and Munch. It's going to be hard to top that. Who knows? I might find a, a diamond ring or a Fabergé egg. You never know. It doesn't hurt to hope. So let's open these up and see what this stuff looks like. Let's start with the Crunch and Munch. And that opens just like a box of cereal. A box of cereal that doesn't have a prize inside. Can you believe that? But I do like the foil or what is it, like Mylar packaging. That's really nice. So these stay nice and fresh. So let's open up this packaging and see how this looks. And eh, opens fairly good, but then it tore. I didn't care for that. I don't like how that tore, so that's going to be kind of hard to seal back up so it doesn't get stale. So I guess the only option is to eat all of this at one time. And those, actually those look pretty good, but I'm going to leave it. Oh, and I can smell the peanuts too. Wow, this really smells, this really smells good. Wow, I'm surprised. I didn't know what to expect. I, I didn't remember what these looked like, but they look I thought they was more bunched up and stuck together, but those are looking pretty darn good. All right, so let's open up the Cracker Jack and see what we have here. So we're just going to do one box, and it looks like they are all taped together. They're all stuck together. Uh, there we go. So let's get one of those off of here. And how do we open this? We're supposedly to push in with that tab with my ginormous thumb and... That's not working. All right, let's do it like this. There, that opened really easy. That shouldn't even be on there, at least not for me. Well, that looks pretty good. Look how nice and neat that is in there. The entire space is filled up with bag of caramel-coated goodness. But I am the bag doesn't want to pull out of there. Is that normal? Is that the way they always are? Apparently so. So how do I open this? This is a little difficult. If I was a kid, how would I open this? I would just, there we go, rip it off with my teeth. There we go. And that opened quite nicely with my teeth. And that looks very similar to the crunching. I see the prize. Prize alert, there's a prize in there. All right, we're not look at it yet. I don't know what we got. But yeah, that, that uh, popcorn looks pretty darn good. It's a little bit darker. So let's dump this out on a plate and compare it to the Crunch and Munch. So I'm going to pour out some of the Crunch and Munch here. Oh, and it is kind of stuck together. You see that? That's kind of what I was expecting with the Crunch and Munch. I don't see any peanuts yet. There's one peanut. Okay, out of that a bit. Oh, there's some more peanuts. Yeah, there's peanuts kind of... Yeah, you know, uh, mangled up in there. So let's pour out some Cracker Jack right beside the Crunch and Munch. And I can see a big difference already. I mean, there's a lot of differences here. Obviously, the Crunch and Munch is a lighter colored caramel on there, but it looks like there's quite a bit more of that caramel covering than there is on the Cracker Jack. And out of all the Cracker Jack, I'm only seeing one peanut. Uh, I don't see any peanuts stuck to any of the Cracker Jack. I do see one peanut and less 
caramel coating. And on the Crunch and Munch, I'm seeing several. One, two, three peanuts. Yep, at least three peanuts in that about the same size batch there. Maybe another one in there. So yeah, there's more caramel coating and more peanuts in the Crunch and Munch already. I'm really surprised by that, but the Crunch and Munch doesn't have a prize though. So we gotta remember that. But right now I'm liking how this Crunch and Munch looks. There's a lot of stuff on there. All right, but as always, the most important thing is how this stuff tastes. So I'm gonna try to get just one kernel of each one of these and try this. So here's my Crunch and Munch kernel, and you can just see how much stuff is on there. There is a lot of caramel covering that. So let's go off to Crunch and Munch and see how this is. Mmm, wow. What a nice flavor. Mmm, what a nice balance. Perfect crunch, mm, perfect sweetness, and perfect amount of salt. Mmm, that is a very, very good snack. That's a nice balance. I'm gonna try to get what I would call a pristine Cracker Jack, totally enroved in the caramel. So some of these, aren't enroved very much at all compared to others. Where the Crunch and Munch, looks like all of them are enroved in caramel quite a bit. So let's try the Cracker Jack and see how this tastes. I mean, it looks richer just from the color. So is that lack or the less uh, caramel gonna make up for it in richness? I don't know. Let's find out. So here's the Cracker Jack. Mmm, definitely a richer flavor. Not as firm of a crunch, uh, and I think it's due to that it has less caramel coating on there, but a very, very rich flavor. Almost has kind of a buttery flavor to it. Not as much salt either, but it is a very, very good flavor. Wow, this is gonna be a hard decision to make. So hard, in fact, I'm gonna have to try this one more time just to find out which one is the best. So here is a Crunch and Munch one more time. Let's try this. Now listen for the crunch. You might hear a difference. Now listen for the crunch of the Crunch and Munch. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That. I think I got a bit of a peanut in there, and that was good. Wow. That was that was quite good. To try to make it even, I'm going to try to find... Well, there's no peanut stuck to any of these, so I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to eat a piece of the popcorn with a peanut, and let's see how this is together. And listen to the crunch of this one, and see if this is any crunchier or not. So here we go with the Cracker Jack. Mmm, wow, definitely good. And a different peanut flavor. Almost like it's a different type of peanut. Mmm, more of a roasted peanut flavor in that as compared to the, the Crunch and Munch. Wow, this is a really hard decision. And uh, both of these are very good. Both of them have a really good crunch. It seems like the crunch of the Crunch and Munch is a little bit better, but Oh, the flavor of the Cracker Jack is really, really good. I, I'm having trouble deciding between those two. So the, the deciding factor is gonna be, how good is my prize inside? So is my prize inside gonna put Cracker Jack over the edge with the Crunch and Munch? So let's see what I got here. All right, you can see it in there. Ah, uh, hope it's not an old picture of my grandmother. <laughs> let's see what we got, I don't know. At this point, it just looks like a piece of Cardboard or paper? What can this be? What do you? I'm gonna take a guess. I haven't seen this. I'm gonna guess. <sighs> is it like some kind of temporary tattoos or is it uh, stickers? <sighs> I'm gonna guess stickers. Here we go. What is it? What in the world? Cracker Jack prize inside arcade. What the heck is this? Oh, this is a lot different. Yeah, when I was a kid, these were in like a little plastic or a little paper bag or something. So this is different. I've never seen this before. It says lift and peel. So what do we got here? This is, okay, now here's the defining moment. Does this cause Cracker Jack to win? I don't know, let's see. What the heck is this? I don't know what this is, folks. It is, in fact, a sticker, a dog sticker. Is that? Yeah, that's the Cracker Jack dog. Yeah, that's a Cracker Jack dog. It must be some part of some game or something like this that I don't know what's going on. So I am totally out of the loop. Uh, so the, for me, this was a little bit of a letdown. I was hoping for that diamond ring or something. I didn't even get a little whistle or a little anything, even a fake tattoo. Well, maybe, let's wait, 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 wait. 
now I got a tattoo, so I'm feeling a little bit better now. So now I got a tattoo, so that helps with the Cracker Jack. But when it comes to crunch, taste, texture, overall flavor, yes, there is a winner. And the winner is, you might be surprised here, I choose the Crunch and Munch. So yes, both of these were really good, but I do choose the Crunch and Munch just because it has a fuller flavor and it was a, a quite a bit more caramel on the outside, which caused it to be quite a bit more crunchy. The Cracker Jack had a nice rich flavor, just not enough of it compared to the Crunch and Munch. So yes, the Crunch and Munch is the winner in this instance. So thank you for watching Food Fights and stay tuned because there's more videos just like this coming right up. I'll see you in the next video.